雪花飘飘，北风萧萧，天地一片苍茫。The Mongol dynasty in China was overthrown in 1368. The founder of the new dynasty took the title of Ming Hongwu, the Ming Martial Emperor. This was the beginning of the Ming Dynasty, which lasted until 1644. Under Ming emperors, China extended its rule into Mongolia and Central Asia along the northern frontier. The Chinese strengthened the Great Wall and made peace with the nomadic tribes that had troubled them for many centuries. At home, Ming rulers ran an effective government using a centralized bureaucracy staffed with officials. Chosen by the civil service examination system, a nationwide school system, manufactured goods were produced in workshops and factories in vastly higher numbers. New crops were introduced, which greatly increased food production. Ming rulers also renovated the Grand Canal, making it possible to ship grain and other goods from southern to northern China. The Ming Dynasty truly began a new era of greatness in Chinese history. Ming Hongwu ruled from 1368 until 1390. After his death, his son Yongle became emperor. In 1406, Yongle began construction of the imperial city in Beijing. In 1421, he moved the capital from Nanjing to Beijing. The imperial city was created to convey power and prestige. It is an immense complex of palaces and temples surrounded by six and one half mile walls. He was off limits to commoners. It was known as a forbidden city. During his reign, Yongle also sent a series of naval voyages into the Indian Ocean that sailed as far west as the eastern coast of Africa. Seven voyages were made between 1405 and 1433. The first fleet consisted of 62 ships and nearly 28,000 men passed through Southeast Asia, the western coast of India, and the city-states of East Africa. It returned with items unknown in China and with information about the outside world. In 1514, a Portuguese fleet arrived off the coast in China. It was the first direct contact between the Chinese Empire and Europe since the journeys of Marco Polo. At the time, the Ming government thought little of their arrival. China was at the height of its power, and from the perspective of the emperor, the Europeans were only an unusual form of barbarian. To the Chinese ruler, the rulers of all other countries were simply younger brothers of the Chinese. Emperor, who was seen as a son of heaven, the Portuguese soon outraged Chinese officials with their behavior. They were expelled from Zhuangzhou, but were allowed to occupy Macau, a port on the southeastern coast of China. At first, the Portuguese had little impact on the Chinese economy. Portuguese ships carried goods between China and Japan, but direct trade between Europe and China remained limited. Perhaps more important than trade, however, was the exchange of ideas. Christian missionaries also made the long voyage to China on European merchant ships. Many of them were highly educated men who brought along instruments such as clocks that impressed Chinese officials and made them more receptive to Western ideas. Both sides benefited from this early cultural exchange. Chinese scholars marveled at their ability to read better with European eyeglasses. Christian missionaries were impressed with the teachings of Confucius, the printing and availability of books, and Chinese architecture. When these reports began to circulate back home, Europeans became even more curious about this great civilization on the other side of the world. After a period of prosperity and growth, the Ming Dynasty gradually began to decline. During the late 16th century, internal power struggles led to a period. Of government corruption, high taxes caused in part by this corruption led to peasant unrest. Crop yields declined because of harsh weather. In the 1630s, a major epidemic greatly reduced the population in many areas. The suffering caused by the epidemic helped start a peasant revolution led by Li Zhicheng. The revolt began in central China and then spread to the rest of the country. In 1644. Li and his forces occupied the capital of Beijing. When the capital fell, the last Ming emperor committed suicide in the palace gardens. Many officials took their own lives as well. The overthrow of the Ming Dynasty created an opportunity for the Manchus. They were a farming and hunting people who lived northeast of the Great Wall in the area known today as Manchuria. The forces of the Manchus conquered Beijing, and Li Zhengjing's armies fell. The victorious Manchus then declared the creation of a new dynasty called the Qing, meaning pure. This dynasty, created in 1644, remained in power until 1911.